Hello, mountain bikers. Welcome to the show. It's another fine day here on the internet, which gives us a perfect opportunity to talk to you about some new and exciting stuff from POC. POC is a Swedish company that mainly specializes in protection and accessories for gravity-oriented sports. With roots in the ski industry going back to 2005, POC has more recently made inroads into the mountain bike market as well. And today, they produce a full range of apparel and protective equipment for riding your bike in the woods. And without further ado, let's jump right in and see what's new. First up, we have the Tectal Race Spin Helmet. This is an extended coverage half shell helmet designed for trail, all mountain and enduro use. The Tectal features a fully wrapped unibody construction, including an aramid bridge, an extra layer that sits between the EPS layer and the outer shell, which POC says helps improve the structural integrity of the Tectal. And much in keeping with current trends, POC has put their own spin on technology intended to help prevent the transmission of rotational forces to your brain in case of off-axis impacts to your head. The spin layer is actually part of the comfort liner. It consists of a kind of silicon gel pad, which basically provides a degree of freedom of movement to allow the helmet to rotate slightly on your skull and thus absorb that nasty off-axis impact energy. As we just mentioned, the spin technology is actually integrated in the comfort liner, which makes for a very clean look and also for a comfortable fit. Even though it offers extended coverage, the Tectal is a highly ventilated helmet. You'll see a number of vents both in the front and the back and some fairly deep internal channels, all of which work together to provide great airflow out on the trail. The Tectal is also highly adjustable to ensure it will fit your head. You've got a three-point strap system, which fit us great out of the box, but which is adjustable in case your head shape should differ. The internal harness features the classic rotating dial in the rear to fine tune the fit to the circumference of your head. The harness is height adjustable and it reaches all the way around the head to provide even adjustment and to avoid the buildup of any pressure points. The visor is adjustable and there's a nifty little goggle attachment system in the back, basically a rubber band that reaches around the strap of the goggle to secure the whole setup as you barrel down the trail. The Tectal Race Spin weighs in at 368 grams for this size medium large sample and will set you back a whopping 230 euros. Yep, you heard that right, 230 euros for a half shell helmet. As you will discover if you didn't know already, Hawk makes premium products and they are certainly not shy about charging for them. Moving on, let's take a look at the VPD System Light Knee Protector. This is a lightweight and breathable pull-on sleeve type knee protector intended to mix a good level of protection with excellent breathability and comfort. The main material used for the protective pad is POX patented VPD or viscoelastic polymer dough, a soft and flexible material that hardens upon impact to help distribute forces away from the protected area. For this protector, the VPD pad has been mated to a soft and flexible sleeve that features a slightly more resistant fabric around the front to provide a little extra protection. There's a soft mesh panel and another foam insert behind the main knee pad to further improve comfort. The VPD System Light Knee is certified to the EN16211 standard at level one, and it will set you back 140 euros, which is of course right up there at the very top end of the range of prices typically found in the knee protection market. Keeping safe on the trail is of course important, but so is looking good, right? And to help with this, Park has a full range of apparel designed for everything from trail to full-on downhill riding. And with summer upon us here in the Northern Hemisphere, we've got a couple of samples of fresh, lightweight Enduro gear to talk to you about. First up, the Essential Enduro three-quarter sleeve light jersey. That was the whole name. As you would have already guessed, this is a lightweight jersey made from 100% polyester. The fabric certainly doesn't weigh much, but it feels quite sturdy and resistant to the touch. And it features this alternating weave, which creates a pattern of semi-transparent holes 
intended of course to promote better breathability. As you would have also guessed from the name, the sleeves are of three quarter length. And in terms of features, there's a little pocket tucked around to the side, which is designed specifically to hold your lift pass. If you have a very small phone, it might fit in here as well, but not a lot else. To go with the jersey, we have the Essential Enduro short. Essential is actually the name of it, but who would argue that a short is indeed essential to Enduro? Made for hotter days, the Essential Enduro short is lightweight, flexible and water repellent. The shorts are constructed in a durable, stretchy nylon fabric, which has been reinforced in the back. We've got two zipped pockets, a zipped fly with a single button snap closure, as well as two Velcro straps on the sides to help fine tune the fit. Given that this short was made for enduro, it's long enough to play nice with knee pads, it's strong enough to take a beating, and it's got a pedal friendly cut to make sure it can accompany you on those long days out. In terms of styling, you get a few colors to choose from. The overall look is clean and sober. Of course, it matches the essential enduro light jersey. And if these two items look like something you'd want to be seen in, they'll set you back 70 euros for the jersey and 100 euros for the short, respectively. Now, before we hit the trail to talk to you about how all this stuff works, one more item to cover, some fresh new eyewear. POC has a whole range of performance-oriented eyewear designed specifically for action sports. The one we're looking at here today is called the Dew Half Blade, equipped with POC's Clarity Lens. Clarity lenses were developed with optical specialist Carl Zeiss to provide excellent vision in a whole range of different conditions. Whether you're a road biker, a mountain biker, or a skier or a snowboarder, POC has lenses that should suit your environment. The Dew Half Blade, as you'd guess from the name, has this half frame which basically grabs the lens just from the top. The lens is a wraparound design with hydrophilic rubber used for the contact points. The lenses are repel treated, which should help with moisture management. And there are also a couple of vents on this model to allow for a little extra airflow. These bad boys will set you back 219 euros, but they do offer an added advantage. If you happen to come across an impromptu rave party while you're out riding in the woods, you'll fit right in. And on that topic, we're gonna go fit right into our new gear and take it all for a spin. In action, the new stuff from POC really delivers. Helmet fit is obviously always an individual thing, but we found the new Tectrol to be easy to get along with. The adjustment system is easy to use and effective, and the general fit of the helmet is really comfortable. We can't say for sure if POC's spin technology or other related technologies in the market really have a role to play and how significant a benefit it is to be able to ward off those rotational impacts. What we do know is we'd rather invest in one safety feature too many. And in the case of spin, we really like the execution. The fit of the helmet remains unaffected by the spin technology and it certainly doesn't seem to have made it any warmer. In fact, this is one of the most breathable half shell helmets we've tested to date, thanks to the overall design and a number of well-placed vents. The fit of the new jersey is excellent. The fabric is soft to the touch, but it also feels reassuringly sturdy. And that pattern of semi-transparent holes really helps improve breathability. The short runs true to size, although a little bit on the tight side. So make sure you check that out carefully before buying. Other than that, it's really comfortable, breathable and stretchy, provides enough room for, for knee pads. And the two pockets do an okay job of providing you with on-trail storage. Phone and keys are not a problem. Those of you who are used to three pockets will come up a little bit short, but we'd say it's adequate overall. When it comes to the new knee pads, there's two sides to the story. We like the general comfort and the high degree of breathability of this design. We also like the VPD material itself. It's one of the softer and more flexible materials of this type, but it seems to do a good job of warding off impacts anyway. When it comes to the cut and the fit of this knee protector, we think POC has a little bit more work to do. Overall, the protector is comfortable, but it's a little bit short up top, and the extra weight of the VPD material up front tends to pull it slightly forward, and you can sort of feel the bottom of the VPD pad resting against your shin. 
It's not really that bothersome. We've had these out for very, very long rides, but we do think there are other options in the market that provide both a more comfortable and secure fit. Well, it was good fun, plenty warm. And if we had to summarize our impressions of the new POC gear in a single word, that would have to be impressive. Yes, POC chargers are pretty penny for their stuff, but they also pack it full of features, and you certainly come away feeling like you got value for money. The new Tectural race helmet is light and super breathable. It's very comfortable, and it's loaded with safety features. Yes, it'll set you back 230 euros, but if comfort, safety and adjustability are high on your list of priorities, it's well worth a closer look. It's always hard to say if a 230 euro helmet delivers exponentially better performance compared to a 100 euro helmet, but what we can say is that this one has shot straight to the top of the pile and we find ourselves reaching for it more often than not when we're about to head out for a ride. On the topic of riding, it's plenty warm out here today and we've just spent a couple of hours filming. The new POC apparel has done a fine job of keeping us comfy and as cool as we could expect to be today. The jersey is super light, very comfortable, it breathes exceptionally well and it doesn't seem to retain moisture like many other polyester jerseys will do. The short is equally light and comfortable. The cut is athletic, but it's made for enduro so there's plenty of room to run knee pads. The fit of the waist is on the tighter side, so if you're typically between sizes, you probably want to try before you buy. The VPD light knee protectors are also light and highly breathable. The VPD knee pad is sturdy and confidence inspiring, but it's also slightly on the heavy side and it tends to cause the protector to want to ride down over the kneecap a little bit. It's held in place properly above the calf area and it never ends up in a place where it can't do its job. But we do think POC would do well to add a little bit of material up top to perfect the retention and catch up to the class leaders in this category when it comes to fit and retention. A premium price tag doesn't always mean you get a premium product, but in the case of POC, they certainly pack in enough safety features and functionality to make sure you get a user experience that matches your shopping experience. And if you happen to be a fan of Scandinavian design, you'll probably like how it looks as well. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you out there on the trails.